Hello guys, today we are going to explore the importance of static friction when parking a car or a truck on a surface that has a slope, like this one that we have in this picture. But first, we are going to understand what happens if we park the truck on a flat surface. In this case, if the truck is with slope 0, mg is going downwards and fn, that's the support force, is going upwards. We know that this truck is in static equilibrium. The summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. So Fn minus mg is equal to zero. For this case, Fn is equal to mg. And we know that the unbalanced force in the x direction is also zero because the truck is static. But what happens if we have the truck parked on a slope? So we have a 4,500 kg truck that's parked on a 7 degrees slope, like the one we have in this picture. We want to know the magnitude of the static friction force. We know that mg is going downwards, and fn is going up, but perpendicular to the plane. So as you can see, there is a x prime and a y prime plane. The x prime is parallel to the ramp, and the y prime is perpendicular to the ramp. You see that I created a free body diagram, smaller to the right, and let's take out the picture and only keep the free body diagram. So let's do a turn and put it in a more comfortable way without changing anything. So you see that the normal force goes in the direction of y prime, and we have uh, mg, but it is broken into components. We know that the summation of the forces in the y prime is equal to zero because the truck is not going up, it's not jumping, or it's not going into the to the ramp. The truck is static. We know that Fn minus mg y prime, that's the component of mg that goes in the y prime direction, is equal to zero. mg prime is the component of mg that goes in the negative y prime direction. And we find that the normal force is equal to mg prime mg prime is mg cosine of 7 because cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. There is a component of mg that is going into the negative x prime direction. The green arrow represents the mg x prime. But what happens if we only have that component, that force? That means that there is imbalance. In that case, if we only had the mg x prime component, the truck would slide. But the problem says that the truck is static. That means that we need an opposite force that will contract the action of the mg x prime. And we know that the summation of the forces in the x prime direction is equal to zero. So the mg x prime is equal to the static friction force. We know from trick that mg x prime is the opposite because you see that the angle is 7 degrees so we have mg sine of 7 is equal to the static friction force. We know that the mass is 4500 kilograms. The acceleration of gravity on earth is 9.8 meters per second square multiplied by the sine of 7. And we get that the static friction force that we need to contract the component of gravity that is trying to slide the truck is equal to 5,374 newtons. And we see that all the forces are in equilibrium. That means that the summation of all the forces is equal to zero. The normal force that's going in the y prime direction is equal in magnitude and opposite to the mg cosine of 7. That was the first force that we calculated. And we see that there is a component of the gravity that's the mg x prime, that's the sign, that's trying to pull the truck down to the ramp. But the static friction force contracts that action of gravity and allows the truck to stay put. Okay guys, so I hope that this is useful. Remember to share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.